This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This reading is by Michael Sirwa, Michael.Sirwa, S I R O I S dot com. Penguin Island by Anatole France. Book Eight Future Times. Book Eight, Section Four. The other towns of the Federation also suffered from disturbances and outbreaks, and then order was restored. Reforms were introduced into institutions, and great changes took place in habits and customs. But the country never recovered the loss of its capital, and never regained its former prosperity. Commerce and industry dwindled away, and civilization abandoned those countries which for so long it had preferred to all others. They became insalubrious and sterile. The territory that had supported so many millions of men became nothing more than a desert. On the hill of Fort St. Michel, wild horses cropped the coarse grass. Days flowed by like water from the fountains, and the centuries passed like drops falling from the ends of stalactites. Hunters came to chase the bears upon the hills that covered the forgotten city. Shepherds led their flocks upon them. Laborers turned up the soil with their plows. Gardeners cultivated their lettuces and grafted their pear trees. They were not rich, and they had no arts. The walls of their cabins were covered with old vines and roses. A goatskin clothed their tanned limbs, while their wives dressed themselves with the wool that they themselves had spun. The goat herds molded little figures of men and animals out of clay, or sang songs about the young girl who follows her lover through the woods or among the browsing goats, while the pine trees whisper together, and the water utters its murmuring sound. The master of the house grew angry with the beetles who devoured his figs. He planned snares to protect his fowls from the velvet-tailed fox, and he poured out wine for his neighbors, saying, Drink! The flies have not spoilt my vintage. The vines were dry before they came. Then in the course of ages the wealth of the villages and the corn that filled the fields were pillaged by barbarian invaders. The country changed its masters several times. The conquerors built castles upon the hills, cultivation increased, mills, forges, tanneries, and looms were established, roads were opened through the woods and over the marshes, the river was covered with boats, the hamlets became large villages, and joining together formed a town, which protected itself by deep trenches and lofty walls. Later becoming the capital of a great state, it found itself straightened within its now useless ramparts and it converted them into grass-covered walks. It grew very rich and large beyond measure. The houses were never high enough to satisfy the people. They kept on making them still higher, and built them of thirty or forty stories, with offices, shops, banks, societies, one above another. They dug cellars and tunnels ever deeper downwards. Fifteen millions of men labored in the giant town. End of Book 8, Section 4 and the end of Penguin Island.